Hello people, I'm the Real Comic Book Gamer, and about a year ago, I did a video talking about why I think people hate Superman. Now, since then, that video has gotten over 800 comments and 14,000 views, and so I was planning on doing a video uh, rebutting a lot of the comments of people saying why they don't like Superman. The majority of those comments are people saying why they like Superman and that they enjoyed the video and things, but there were a lot of people saying, well, you're wrong, and this is why I hate Superman, and I was going to take a lot of comments and, uh, and reply to them uh, in a video but I saw this one guy's comment and he listed 18 reasons so I decided to reply to him and just make a video about all his reasons and uh, yeah so let's get into it starting off with his number one reason which is he's the most overpowered character in comic history uh, have you have you heard of a guy named Dr. Manhattan or Franklin Richards you know that's just to name a few there are a lot of characters in comics that are way more powerful than Superman Superman is a powerful character that's for sure but he is far from being the most overpowered character in comic history his number two reason for why Superman sucks is that he's one of the most ripped off characters in fictional history how he was inspired by Jesus and Hercules and characters like that, but his character traits are pretty original and he's the OG Boy Scout. He paved the way for characters like Captain America. Not at all saying Captain America is a ripoff of Superman or anything like that, no, but I do believe that Captain America was somewhat inspired by Superman and Superman sort of set the way for those types of characters. Granted, he did also set the way for like all comic book superheroes because prior to Superman, there wasn't really superheroes, it was more like detective and stuff, like you had Green Hornet and things like that. But anyways, yeah, Superman's the OG Boy Scout, not a ripoff of any character. Uh, is number three is all you whiny little brats complaining about how he killed Goku twice. Um, okay, so a video that someone else made where Superman wins is supposed to be proof that Superman is OP? Right, I don't really get that there. What's the reasoning there? Someone else made a video saying that Superman will win this fight and that pisses you off. Okay, yeah, also I, look, I clicked on this guy's profile, looked at it, and I saw that a lot of what he watches is Death Battle, so it seems like he's a big Death Battle fan and then got pissed at Screw Attack because they had Goku lose. At least that's what I can conclude. Uh, number four, why is he wearing his underwear on the outside? Um, yeah, we're gonna take, a uh, travel back in history. We're gonna go back through history. Circus Strongmen back in the day used to wear their underwear on the outside of their pants. So, Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, who are the creators of Superman, decided to do the same for Superman. It's a symbol of strength, because the underwear on the outside of the pants is associated with Strongmen, which is associated with strength, so they decided to put that on Superman, and that's, so there you go. So, yeah, that's why. Number five, he's gotten boring over the years. You're not going to give me any reasons for that? Like, nothing at all he doesn't say because of this, this, or this. He's just, he's gotten boring over the years. Yeah, that's some great reasoning there, bud. Yeah, totally, totally get what you mean there. Uh, th he acts as if he's been a Superman fan for, like, a while, like, a long-time Superman fan. And then suddenly, he, like, Superman got boring, so he stopped reading him. But from what he said prior, it does not seem like he's a Superman fan at all. So, yeah. Number six, everyone says that he has limits. But the only reason he does is because he limits himself. Did you idiots ever think of that? Um, have you ever heard of a little story called Death of Superman, where Superman's invulnerability reaches its limits and that's why he dies? Like, he literally reaches his limits of his powers and that's why he dies. He's thrown everything he can at Doomsday and he can't stop him. He finally kills him, but in the process he dies as well. So what did you, you, like, that's, you know, that's just one storyline. That's one of the most famous Superman storylines, maybe the most famous Superman storyline of all time, yet you're like, he doesn't have limits, yeah. He, he just does, does not seem like a smart individual we're dealing with here. Also, no comic book character really has limits. If you think about it, uh, they are all as strong as they need to be for each story arc. Like, why do you think Batman's having trouble fighting Hush one minute, but the next he's taking on Darkseid? It's because, uh, as stupid as it is, it doesn't make sense. We still want to see Batman, like, taking on on everyone because they make for interesting stories but it doesn't make sense how Batman can go from street level to fighting dark side and people like that but it's because that's how the story was work and everyone's fine with it it is kind of stupid but that's how it works um, number seven why can't his x-ray vision see through lead <laughs> this is I was so happy he asked this question it's, it's because actual x-rays can't see through lead you idiot <laughs> x-ray machines that they use in real life x-rays cannot see through lead <laughs> that's it lead is a very heavy metal and that's why so it can't see through lead you can search up the scientific explanation if you want but yeah lead x-rays cannot see through lead so that's why certain man can't see through it with his x-ray vision number eight his biggest weakness is a glowing rock your point 
Batman's biggest weakness is literally anything. I could shove a cotton ball in Batman's eye and that would severely hurt him. So, yeah, I don't really get why you're so mad that a glowing rock is his is his weakness. Like, a glowing green rock, what's your problem with that? Like, well, he wants to be something elaborate. Like, of t plenty of superheroes, their weakness is literally anything. Look at Black Widow, Green Arrow, Hawkeye, Batman. <laughs> Anything is their weakness because they're normal people so having Superman's weakness be a rock I don't get what the problem with that is uh, Number nine he gave up his American citizenship Well, yeah uh, Because whenever Superman tried to help the rest of the world They saw it as America sticking their fingers where they don't belong so Superman would get ridiculed by the American government But Superman still wanted to help everyone not look like a soldier acting on behalf of America So that is why he gave up his American citizenship because he liked to help the rest of the world, but since he's pro based in America, uh, they, the rest of the world's like, hey, why is America sending their super soldier over here? We don't like that. And so they'd get pissed at America, and America would be like, Superman, you can't do this. And so that's when Superman gave up his American citizenship because he's like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not a soldier for America, and I want to help people everywhere. So, yeah, I'm giving up my American citizenship, and that's why he did that. Number 10, his disguise for a secret identity is so stupid, and it's even more stupid that people don't realize that he's Superman. Um, yeah, it is a little stupid, but also Henry Cavill went to New York City where there are giant posters of him all around and he didn't get recognized once. Oh, and he was wearing a Superman shirt. Yeah, Superman, <laughs> he said he got stopped once and I don't remember why. I think it was for to take a picture of someone or something. I don't or no, like asked where to go or something. I don't remember, but he said he got stopped once and it was not because he's Superman. So Henry Cavill, the guy who plays Superman, he's played him in two movies where there were posters all around New York City. He didn't get recognized when he was wearing a Superman shirt in New York City. So, yeah, that uh, that was Henry Cavill also. He said he wanted to test the secret identity thing. He wasn't even wearing glasses. He just didn't get recognized at all. Number 11, Doomsday didn't kill him. He was going through a healing coma. Yeah, stupid stuff happens all the time in comics. I do agree that was kind of stupid, but that doesn't really say why Superman is a sucky character. Batman got hit by Dark Side's Omega Beans, which generally kills anything it touches, but he got sent back in time. So stupid stuff happens in the comics all the time. You just gotta learn to deal with it. Right now, Captain America is a Nazi, so yeah. Number 12, he didn't really lift Infinity. So... Again, this is something that he's taking from the Screw Attack video because that's what they mention in, like, I think they mention it in both their videos, how he lifted half of Infinity when he was lifting it with Captain Marvel, but guess what half of Infinity is? It's Infinity. And so, now he's bringing that up, and it's like, why? Like, that, I don't get how that's a point. It doesn't make sense. You'd be mad if he did lift Infinity. And he technically did, because again, like they said, half of Infinity is Infinity, but whatever. Number 13, he killed Zod Man of Steel. Why'd they make him do that? Okay, so I could go on on and on about why I did that before in other videos, but why does it matter? That's a movie, so how does that affect the character as a whole? You can dislike the movie version, but to say Superman is a terrible character as a whole because of how he was written in a movie is idiotic. It doesn't make any sense. I do. I think Superman killing Zod was a good idea in Man of Steel, and I'll give you a short little reason now. Uh, if you look back to where when Jonathan Kent was killed, Jonathan Kent died because of inaction. Superman decided not to act because his father told him not to. Later on, that family could have died, would have died if it was for Superman's inaction, so he decided to act. That is called a character character arc that is called good writing and so he decided to save that family and yeah all so that's my reasons there number 14 he repaired the great wall of china by staring at it that is so stupid that is retarded but again that's a movie version remember when batman had shark repellent in his utility belt yeah, again, I know I'm comparing him to Batman, that's because I'm thinking of sort of the polar opposite character, someone that this guy might like or something, I don't know. So, uh, I'm, he's a Goku fan, you can already tell that, but uh, I'm talking about just trying to compare him to a polar opposite character in the comics, just to show that both ends of the spectrum, they're stupid stuff. So, yeah, number 15, Lois Lane or Wonder Woman, make up your mind. Besides New 52, it's always been Lois. Like, they literally got married. They hinted at it a bit and did a little thing, but that was it. It did not last long at all pre-New 52. And then New 52, they decided, hey, we'll have, it be, we'll have it be Wonder Woman. But that was New 52 Superman. Pre-New 52 Superman exists in New 52, and he's married to Lois and has a kid with her. This shows that you do not keep up with the character at all and know nothing about him. It's always been Lois. Also, 
why does having multiple love interests make a character bad? I'm really confused about that. Like, if a character has multiple love interests, that, I don't get how that's a bad thing. Obviously, like, you know, it, it, it all depends how it affects the character, but I don't see how it's a bad thing. I would be like, should I go with this person or this person? I don't, I don't get it. It can add tension and help with the story, so I don't get how it's a bad thing. Number 16, the giant S on his chest is just so stupid. <sighs> Thank you for helping me prove my point of how much of a complete and total imbecile you are. Like, that, how the giant S on his chest is so stupid. So a character design is why this character is bad. The design of how he looks is why he's so awful. Yeah, you, you got me there, man. No comeback. Number 17, he has the same hairdo for every single version of him. Uh, most artists change it up a bit. Also, who cares? Oh, that's right. You're a Goku fanboy, so it's all about the hair. So it's all about the crazy hair. Also, I have nothing against Dragon Ball Z or Goku. I just want to say that. I have uh, something against people like this who think you can only like one. Same when it comes to Batman or Superman fanboys, where they're just like, you can only like one. You can't like Batman and Superman. You can only like Batman or Superman. Same thing with these Dragon Ball guys. They're just like, you can only like Superman or Dragon Ball. You can't like both, so we have to hate the other. It, it's like this. I don't have anything against people like Dragon Ball. I have uh, something against these fanboys like this. If you like Dragon Ball, that's great, but don't be someone that likes it and then just hates on everything else because... Like, I'm, I'm, my thing's the best, so I can't like other stuff. I hate people like that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> he has the same hairdo and everything. That's a reason for hating him. Uh, yeah. Anyways, number 18, Goku or Superman. Shut up, you idiot. Shut up. That's, that's his number 18. Three. That's his 18th reason. It's because Superman beat Goku in, in the battles. A death battle. So that's why he hates Superman. So yeah, I just don't get how someone who has nothing to do with the canon or creation of Superman can affect your viewpoint on him. They just made a fan battle video, and now you hate Superman. Good for you. You do what you do. I'm going to address one more comment because, like I said before, I wanted to originally do a video about a bu addressing a bunch of comments, but that one guy had so many points that I decided, you know what, let's cover this. So yeah... Let's answer this one guy's question. He says, oh, well, it's not really a question, but he says, Omar says, I love how you basically say, if you don't like Superman, you are ignorant. You, sir, are a dick. Uh, see, this is something a lot of people get confused about, the word ignorant. They don't know what it means. They're ignorant about what ignorant means. People take it offensively. They get triggered. The word ignorant is not inherently a bad word. It just means you're lacking information. It means you don't know about something. It does not mean you're an idiot, you're stupid, it means you don't know about a specific thing. And in that video I said that most people that don't like Superman are ignorant of the character of Superman. And I still hold by that, I believe that is true. I believe that most people that hate Superman have not read a good Superman comic ever in their life. They probably saw a movie or a, a video on YouTube and like, this guy's terrible, he's an awful character and that's why they hate him. And so... That's why I said people are ignorant towards Superman, because that's what most people are who don't like Superman. At least that's what I believe, because it seems like that. I'm ignorant towards a lot of comic book characters. There are a, are a ton of comic book characters that I know nothing about that I am ignorant towards. For instance, female Thor, Jane Foster as Thor. I am a completely ignorant to that character. I read Rage of Ultron, and that's like all I've read with her in it. I read some Avengers stuff, like basically some stuff where she's appeared, but I know pretty much nothing about the character uh, when she's Thor. So yeah, I'm ignorant towards female Thor. That's it. There's a lot of characters I am ignorant towards. A lot of people are ignorant towards Superman. Again, there's nothing negative about that word, ignorant. There's nothing bad, but for some people, for, for some reason, it triggers people severely. Like people get so mad when you call them ignorant. Like, ah, just means not knowing doesn't mean that you are a complete idiot but yeah that's just uh, a lot of people get mad at me using the word ignorant so yeah please let me know in the comments below what do you do you guys agree with this, what this guy said that Superman's a bad character because someone made a YouTube video he wears nests on his chest and has the same hairstyle you know screw that Superman guy he needs to change up his hair and get rid of that ass uh, but yeah, please let me know in the comments below. Would you agree with him or me and why? And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.